two, one. Hi, everybody. A wonderful Monday morning to you all. Welcome to our fifth Meditation Monday, the series on the seven chakras led by the awesome, amazing, wonderful Terry Osborne, who is with me here today because the last couple of times her internet gave issues and we didn't want to go through that drama again today. So she just came to my place and she's standing by ready to lead you in today's meditation. I wanted to excuse, get your um, thoughts on my wild crazy hair look because this is me straight out of bed, take the hair out the scrunchie and go pluff, pluff, pluff. So this is what my hair looks like when I don't take care of it. Um, you know, afterwards I will take care of it. So this is my, my, my crazy wild look, my natural look, and um, this is me. So for those of you who need to know this, I'm Wendy Yoching, founder of Healing Spaces Caribbean and the tribe mom of the wonderful and beautiful Find Your Fire tribe. And I am looking forward to sharing this meditation with you. So without further ado, I'm going to let Terry come on. We have to share the um, headset and the, the stage. So come on, Terry and say hi to your tribe. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Hi, morning, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> like Wendy, I too um, have my hair issues. <laughs> I don't know. Somehow hair doesn't like to do what it's supposed to do uh, first thing in the morning. I can't explain why. And Obviously, I'm having a wardrobe malfunction as well, which was fine before, but <laughs> without further ado, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, Wendy gave me a lovely introduction, but I shall just introduce myself again. My name is Terry Osborne, and I'm a trained yoga instructor and also a mindfulness and meditation enthusiast. So I'm really happy to be here with you guys to share whatever knowledge that I have with you in the hopes that you can find the time, well maybe not find the time, make the time to include meditation as part of your daily practice. If not daily, you can start off weekly. We're doing the Monday meditation series on the chakras. Uh, I decided on the chakras because they are in yogic tradition. They are the energy bodies that reside within us. They are subtle energy bodies. And um, basically, chakra means spinning wheel. So they are there to guide us. And uh, also, when we, we know when we have issues when they become blocked. And the meditations that we are doing now are supposed to help in terms of unblocking these energies so that you can basically live your best life. So there are seven of them, seven chakras, and they uh, start from the base of the spine and go all the way up to the crown of the head. So today we're working on the fifth one. We have worked through from the base of the spine coming up, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, and today we're going to be doing the throat chakra. So last week's meditation was the heart chakra and I referred to that as coming home because home is where the heart is and I felt that uh, it was a wonderful way for you to visualize how to enliven that chakra. So today's chakra, the throat, is uh, about finding your voice basically. So the throat chakra is located at the throat area and energetically it it, um, it connects both your basic needs and your higher self your higher wisdom and spiritually it helps you to basically connect with the divine communicate effectively with the divine so the throat chakra is about communication it's about self-expression it's about expressing your truth as a person, as a being. And uh, the color associated with it is light blue or turquoise. And the element associated with this chakra is ether or space. So I'm really, you know, excited about this chakra because I myself have had issues with it in the past in terms of it being blocked and you know that it's blocked when you have problems expressing yourself 
finding your voice or finding the words to express yourself. When this chakra is in balance, you, uh, you find that you can express yourself more easily, you can express your emotions in a more healthy way, and it just, you, you feel like you can communicate better with yourself and also with the divine. So what I want to introduce this time around, because the last time I introduced using, um, <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Apparently, my voice is not a morning person. <laughs> Last time, I would have introduced using uh, visualization and so on to help with the meditation. And this time, I'd like to introduce, because we're doing the throat chakra, I'd like to introduce sound to you. So, uh, now each chakra there's a sound associated with it. I haven't talked about this before because um, I was trying to do different things with each meditation. So now I'm going to introduce the sounds that are associated with each chakra. So these sounds are called bij mantras or seed mantras. And a mantra is basically a word or a sound that is repeated during meditation to help with concentration. So, like I said, each chakra has a sound associated with it. And, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. And the bij mantra, or the sound associated with the throat chakra, is hum. It's spelled H A M, but it's pronounced hum, as in the word humming. And what this really does is it helps to enliven when you, when you vocalize this word hum while you're meditating, it helps to enliven and really open up the throat chakra. And um, I think that um, it's really a, a way for, to help you to find your, your voice because sometimes in life we struggle with being able to express ourselves the way that we might want to, whether it's to family, friends, in the workplace. So I think this is a really important chakra to help enliven um, because it's, it gives voice to the heart chakra. And last week we learned about the heart chakra. So this throat chakra is now helping you to give voice to express who you are, what you feel, um, express your love to your loved ones, and even to yourself. I mean, self-talk is, is always a great thing to do. And I, I do it out loud and I have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not apologetic for it at all. Um, I look at myself in the mirror and I, I speak to myself and, you know. So this, this chakra is about singing praises to yourself and also to others. And um, when you speak your truth, it helps you to be a better listener and a listener that's free of judgment. So without further ado, <clears throat> I am going to um, give you a demonstration of how you're going to create the sound because we're going to use this as part of the meditation. So basically, to chant the bij mantra for this chakra, which is hum, what you would want to do is take a nice deep inhale and then on the exhale, you're not going to force your voice, find a comfortable way, a, a spot where your voice is comfortable, not too high, not too low. And on the exhale, you're going to slowly let the mantra just roll out. So I'm going to demonstrate now. So take a deep breath in. Hum. One more time. Hum. And you really want to feel the reverberation in your throat. That is what is helping to enliven this chakra and uh, to basically clear any blockages that you may have. So this is something that you're going to be vocalizing while the meditation is going on. I am not going to be vocalizing because I don't want to distract you guys. So I would just let you know when it's time. So one more time, I'm going to demonstrate again. So you inhale and on the exhale, hum. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. So let's get started. So get into your position for your meditation. You could be seated on a chair like I am. And if you are, then please ensure that your feet, uh, you're not wearing shoes and you can make a connection with the ground and feel grounded. And uh, you can place the palms of your hands either turned upward or facing downward on your, on your thighs, on your knees, whichever is most comfortable for you. And uh, if you're in a seated position, you can sit cross-legged and also place the palms of your hands, whether you want to have them facing upward or downward, just be comfortable. Ensure that you, you are seated in an upright position and you're not stiff. So you can gently roll your shoulders back, sliding your shoulder blades down, just making sure that you're comfortable. This is all about comfort. And then what you can do is ensure that your vertebrae are stacked one on top of the other like bricks. And so that you're not hunched forward or, you know, too far back. So you want to be in a neutral position. You want to have a neutral spine. Ensure that your chin is parallel to the floor. So basically, you want to make sure that you're going to be as comfortable as possible because we're going to stay in this position without moving for a while. And um, oh, just one more note on, on mantras. Mantras are there to, to help you. They're there to, uh, the repetition of the mantra helps you to concentrate when you're meditating. So this is what is important about the mantra, aside from the fact that it's going to help energize and enliven this chakra, it's going to help you bring that focus in to that point of where you're vocalizing the mantra. So if you have thoughts that come, just let them come and then let them go. Treat them as, you know, cars passing by on a street and uh, just bring your mind back gently and continue vocalizing your mantra. So without further ado, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and then we're going to take three deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And just let go of that breath and bring your focus now to the top of your head. And we're going to do a, a gentle body scan just to see if there's any tension anywhere in the body. And we want to release this tension. We want to be as relaxed as possible for this meditation. So bring your awareness to your scalp. If you feel any tension or tightness there, just release gently, coming down, any tension in your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyelids, just releasing your cheeks, your lips, your tongue, your chin. Coming down, release any tension in the neck and throat area, the shoulders, the upper back, the chest, the abdomen and middle back, the lower back, the buttocks, the pelvic area, Coming down, releasing any tension in the thighs, the knees, the shins, the calves, releasing any tension in the ankles, the feet. 
And bring your awareness gently back up. Slowly. Looking for any tension in the parts that you've just released. The shin, the calf, the thighs coming back up. Coming all the way up to the chest. We're going to release the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the palms of the hands, the fingers. And I want you to just rest your awareness at the fingertips and really release any tension that you're feeling. Bring it all the way from the soles of the feet up through the body and release through the fingers. Feel that tension releasing. Feel the body getting more and more relaxed. Just keep releasing. Keep releasing. And then from here, you're going to travel back down through the body, checking for tension anywhere. Go back down to the soles of the feet and just rest your awareness there. Just gently be aware of the soles of your feet. They are what grounds us. And we connect to the earth with them. And that connection to earth is also part of connection to the divine. I want you to just let go of that awareness now. Just gently let go of that awareness. And just bring your attention back to breath. Just being aware of the breath coming in. The cool air coming into your nostrils. And the warm air coming out. Just gently being aware of your breath. Nothing else. And now, I'd like to invite you to introduce your Bij Mantra. So I'm going to start you off, and then I will discontinue so as not to distract you in your meditation. So you're going to take a nice, big, deep breath in through your nose. And then on the exhale, slowly roll out. Hum. 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 I'm going to invite you to continue on your own. I will let you know when to stop.
I'd like to invite you now to let go of your mantra. Bring your mind back to the silence. Take a few breaths here. Just gently breathing. Let the mantra go. And I'd like to introduce now the affirmation associated with this chakra is I speak. So I would like you to just gently in your mind repeat these words. I speak my truth always. I speak my truth always. Just gently repeat that in your mind. And now I invite you to let go of that affirmation. Just gently let it go. And bring your awareness back to your surroundings, your immediate surroundings in the room that's, that you are in. Just hear whatever noises that are around you, bringing your awareness back. to the now. And I want to invite you to bring the palms of your hands together at your heart center. And you're going to rub them together briskly to create some friction so you can get some heat going. Keeping your eyes closed still. And then place the palms of your hands over your face, covering, making sure that the eyes are covered. Feeling the warmth on your face. And whenever you're ready, gently flutter your eyes open. <sighs> well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that um, meditation. <laughs> there is my timer. I do apologize for um, any noises that you may have heard during. I hope it didn't disrupt you too much. But, you know, we're alive and this is life, as I was saying to Wendy earlier. So the dogs were barking at something that um, they saw outside. So I really hope that you enjoy this meditation and that this week you are encouraged to really speak your truth and, you know, um, communicate uh, effectively with not just others, but the divine and even yourself. So have a great week. 
Namaste, I'm going to hand you over to Wendy. Namaste, Terry. Thank you so much for that beautiful um, meditation with sound for the first time. And I, I don't know if you guys heard me, but I was humming away in the background with the best of them. And I really enjoyed it. And I noticed something. The two things I noticed. One is that my, when she said, um, become conscious of your breathing, my dog, my old dog Jada, who's actually at our feet, she actually started breathing very strongly. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Terry? I certainly <laughs> did. She's right next to me. And I yes. thought, oh, I love Jada. Yes. And I was playing she with was her like, earlier. So I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you go, girl. Express yourself. Because yes. that's what the throat chakra is about. Well, she was using her throat chakra. And yeah. then she got a little louder, it's right? Lovely, it is lovely. This is lovely. So we should stay like this. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next question. I had another question for you, Terry. So don't go. Oh, sure. What I noticed, and perhaps you noticed it too when you do this practice, is that you breathe in through the nose and you breathe and to, to inhale for your hum, and then you start the hum with your mouth, but you, when you say the mmm, you close your mouth and your nose is involved again. So I felt the vibration from my throat chakra through my mouth to my nostrils right up to my sinuses, and I believe the throat chakra is, is representing all of this area, including the nose and the sinuses, correct? Well, what the yes. throat, hi, hi again, what the throat chakra, <laughs> it connects um, your basic, your basic chakras below with the higher up, so the third eye is here, so that's what you would have been feeling, and the crown chakra is here, so that hum would have been reverberating upward throughout those other chakras that we're going to visit in the coming weeks. Well, it surely reverberated as far as up my sinuses, <laughs> which was lovely, and I also realized you can't do that humming without using all of that area, your throat, your mouth. If you try doing it without opening your mouth, it's not happening <laughs> to say the hum and the, the m comes, your mouth has to be closed and it comes, it come, your breath comes out through your nose and this vibration of that wonderful um, word is, 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 in, is this entire area is vibrating with the frequency of it. And if that also is, is connecting yes. me to my higher levels, then I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. So I hope you love it too. Terry, come on screen and say bye-bye. Everybody, thank <laughs> bye. you again for joining week. us. And give us your feedback below. Have a wonderful morning and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Till next week. <laughs>